Hello, in this video I will show you how you can create your delegates or dispatchers from the C++ and you can trigger them from the C++ and take your information or variables to the blueprints. Ok, let's start. I'm going to create a simple project with the C++ also. Now the project is opened and I want to open our project and do a basic setup. It's C++ project, you can see in the compile here. And we have a default actor. I'm going to just open, not to do different new C++ classes, I'm going to open uh, this character to test inside Now I'm going to the header file and to the private. I want to do some variables and different more parts, but I will explain what I'm going to do. I want to create a node and bind the dispatcher uh, inside the blueprints, but it will be later. For now, we should create a node. By default, we should write u function to have the help from garbage collector and we can use some uh, macros and for this I need to use a macro blueprint callable because we want this node call from the blueprints and type will be um, void void test uh, firefox um, without parameters will be more simple for this and now we should to do here on the app, uh, we should create our mm, delegate. We need to write the uh, multicast. Mm, yeah, this I will take two parameters for now, and this macros uh, will take one variable and two other parameters, what I will put here. And for this I need to create also the variable, delegate variable, like with the type, uh, it will be with the u property, macros, it's for the variables now, and it will be blueprint assignable now and I need to create mm, my type of this delegate and it should uh, have the first key uh, from f f and mm, new type uh, dele delegate and uh, uh, mm, the variable will be our new our new delegate and with this this type of this delegate we should write here write comma and add two other parameters for testing I just will um, add f, f vector to print location but I need to write type comma name of the type um, actor or location just location yeah and another type because we have here two this is type of the delegate over here with the blueprint assignable u property for this variable f vector another uh, variable uh, another type and the name of this uh, variable now we should write one the last parameter because we have two this is one and other one for this we should uh, I, I will just add bool for simple bool comma and is um, in uh, but it's for testing only and 
column. We should write here. Now we should create our function. We can do from Visual Studio here. It will be faster just to create out. Mm, okay, I will do. Let's just copy. Go to the CPP file. And I am going to paste it my function here. And I need to take this reference to copy here inside. And I should do like this. But without uh, here. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, right. Okay. And we have now here. Let's try compile. Maybe we, we will have some errors. I don't know. We need to check errors and after we will do more. Yeah, compile success, great. Now, inside this function, I will take this variable of this new our uh, delegate type, what we write here, and we open here with uh, the property blueprint assignable uh, function. And we should add it here, write comma, and we should call this event. And to do it, we should do a broadcast. Broadcast, and we should write our types. Types from here. F vector, it will be location. And is in the air. Ah, location, we have uh, location, uh, maybe test. Because I see we have trouble problems here. Okay, now it's fine. Uh, I will print later the location from the actor by default. Get actor location. I will take a factor and for testing, I will write uh, true and column. Uh, seems like all is fine for now. I'm going to compile again. Oh, yeah, fine. I'm going to this blueprint. It's a blueprint from this C++ class. You can check it. Just Ferex character and here. And it's from this class. It's not default character. And now we can call our node. What is the name of our node? It's test Ferox node. Okay. Test Ferox node. Okay. And we should now bind events from the C. Uh, I will show you. We have our delegate. We broadcast when we call from C. We will take two arguments. And location and boolean and we are going to delegate this to the our blueprint now and for this we should take our uh, variable of delegate type it will be here our new delegate and we should find it our new delegate well we can buy it and this will be faster to press just assign and connect here we can just do a print string to test this, but also we should um, uh, we should call from C++ and because we have only function here, but we should call this function uh, test Ferox function, and for just testing I will put it uh, in the move forward, and I'm going to add here our function. And this function will be broadcast trigger this delegate uh, with the two parameters to the blueprints. I will attach also the documentation uh, under the video, and you can check and read more about delegates this type. And we have more uh, different methods here. Uh, and I'm going to compile and check how it will work. Yeah, this works now, and 
when we will move forward from the code, um, we will trigger this function with the broadcast and with the actual location. Here, we take on the move forward. And I go to play. And when I am moving forward, you can see we have our location of this actor. And we broadcast to the blueprints. This is our delegate. And it's from here we can check because I can change color and we can play with it now. Also, we can add uh, more different uh, types here. I can show you just for a moment. It's okay because it's fun to have delegate. And for this, I'm going to add. Uh, one more. Mm. It will be int and uh, some id id mm, player id player id. Okay. And uh, if we will compile, we will have our because we have three now variables, and we should write here for three. Uh, three parameters so right now. Three parameters and compile. Uh, ah, yes, sure, because we mm, update here to only, mm, but we had uh, the last one int variable here and we should uh, add on the broadcast also uh, id for our new variable it will be like uh, three and we can compile now and check again yes now it will works and we can add the our new delegate we can refresh also node and with blueprint at custom event. Oh, we don't have. Maybe I need to just. Do I just reopened the project and now it's fixed. It's like I think just. And we can now write our new delegate and we have our new uh, variable here. We can bind event here and we can check it from the int variable, the new one. When I'm moving, we have three. And we can call from C++ from anywhere in this blueprint. Uh, I will show you. We added this. And function with our delegate type and variable of the delegate. And this function uh, just simple to trigger this and we can take this guy and put wherever we want just we can take it like move right or different parts and do a broadcast and at these parameters you can see a factor a bool and new one is integer hope guys this tutorial will be helpful for you and also i will attach the project in the description with the documentation and if you like this video please like it's motivate me to do a more content thank you for watching